G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Vampire's minigun with bashing damage increased by 40% and 25% less VATS action point cost per shot. That tertiary legendary effect even worse on this minigun than it is on regular bullet shooting miniguns. So the name of the game here is to run up and use the uh, minigun motors to spin up this whirling death blade thingy. And you could potentially call it a melee weapon, but it is bash damage, so use the bash little perk and then you'll get slightly better damage and chance to cripple. And since this thing hits and it counts as a vampire's hit, so every bash that you get is going to heal you and you hit about as fast as a minigun fires. The problem is though with that, we're going to annihilate this thing's condition bar like I annihilate Tears car at the traffic lights. He's only got a V6, what a pleb. And um, so, what I'm going to do to make this a little bit more interesting is place your bets now on how many times I'll have to repair this thing with repair kits during the video. And hopefully I don't use all 25 that I've got because I don't want to be paying out of pocket on the Atom Store just to keep this video running. It'd be very expensive if I did. We've got 24 damage. Bash damage is uh, unlisted, so we won't be applying any perks here. Instead, I will be uh, explaining my perks. So, in strength, we've got Bandily because I'm still carrying tons of bullets, although I did chuck all of my 5 mil on the stash. That's light, so that doesn't matter. We've got Blocker, so if we get hit from a stick up close, it's going to do 45% less damage. Pain Train is helpful when I'm you know, running into things, and it'll give them a bit of a stagger, which will give them slightly more damage. So that's potentially less damage that the minigun has to do, saving a little bit of that uh, condition for that. Basher, obviously, we've got... 50% uh, more damage and then a 10% chance to cripple. Generally, we kill things you know fast enough to actually not have to worry about the crippling chance, but it is nice to have it. We've got a different tool for crippling. Anyway, we've also got full charge because I wanted to chuck in something that would you know make a lot of sense. Bullet shield, unfortunately, doesn't work when you're not firing bullets. And lock and load, obviously, is useless. And all of these damage boosting perks and the ones with shotguns. Not useful. We've got Concentrated Fire, talk about useless. Um, mainly, we've got Glow Sight here and Awareness. There's not much else we can really do with that. A couple of perks that help me survive explosions better and give me slightly better health at Nerd Rage, that shall be well be. And that means we'll be using that. And we've also got Stabilize because we get armor penetration on the gun bashing. I think I tested this. I might have to retest this because I might have changed it, but I believe that does give me better damage. Gunsmith is there to keep this thing going for as long as possible, so 50% slower braking, very useful. We've got Action Girl to keep my action points coming in, because in Power Arm I don't have access to all of my unyielding gear, which has all of this AP regeneration on it. Unfortunately, I'm missing out on three extra points that I could use for through hockey here, but we just have to live with it. We've also got Luck of the Jaw, um, if that triggers when we're bashing something, then that's good news, because that means we salvage a little bit of condition on that particular hit, which may mean it lasts slightly longer. Ricochet is there. Obviously, that synergizes well with Vampire. So if something shoots us for the, like an automatic rifle, and a couple deflect back, we can successfully tank the damage. Legendary perks are as follows. That's the only really one we're going to be using much of here. I don't think we'll be exploiting anything, but it'll be a nice surprise if that actually happens. Okay, let's get started. Okay, welcome to the Bethesda Repair Kit Production Facility. We're gonna raid this place to keep this thing going. We're in Power Armor, we're in Nerd Rage. This is the Raider Power Armor thingy. It's like X01, but it's got bits and bobs stuck all over it like you'd get with the, like, the standard Raider Power Armor from, like, the really basic stuff from Fallout 4. What's with the character draw distance? I need to tune that up a little bit. Okay, now that this thing's spinning, Okay, note to self, don't ever jump with this thing. Keep your feet planted on the ground, because if you fall down, you'll have to restart spitting the barrel. That's very annoying, so now that we've got that cleared up, let's get to killing. Aim for the head too, and then don't crash game, come on. Okay, new server now, and thanks One Wasteland, you've given me baby super mutants. And by the way, with that small gameplay, I actually was able to play and didn't have a crash. I caused that much damage to the minigun. <laughs> oh lord. So what I'll do is I'll just, you know, use these guys as a warm-up, then we'll move on inside. And make sure we don't fall down. We did again. Get this guy to stop from blowing up. Okay, this is boring. Let's just go inside. Oh, there's a balloon. Let's get him. <laughs> okay, we are on the inside now, and one guy decided to follow me in, which is a bad idea. And look! 
Luck of the draw works with this thing. That's excellent for this thing's longevity. That's nice. So we're getting about 101 damage on the Warlords like that. If we go ahead and give this guy a bash. Didn't do much. Excuse me, murder please. This is the last time I use a Dewalt motor, motor in my minigun. We're using Elite Milwaukee next time. Or perhaps Makeda. We'll go Makeda, they're reliable. I like Makeda's. They make the blue drills. Anyways, let's keep going. And, you know, I know you might be feeling shortchanged about me not doing the Super Mutants outside. So what I'll do instead is we'll go into the Hell Room and then, you know, sort all of them out. We haven't gone through the most efficient route with this, but that's uh, fine. You'll notice that, you know, the all of the usual problems with rotary barrel weapons is still here. It's like, I can't actually sprint until the barrels have completely stopped moving, and I'm guessing that helps with impacts as well. Uh, I, I mean, it says I'm already at full health, but still. I, I can't be not at full health, because as soon as I kill something, I immediately heal, which is, you know, great for survivability. I don't like being one-shotted by stupid dogs. So even at my two endurance build, I can tank whatever these guys throw at me. So we'll just keep going. Got to get that efficiency. You got to aim for the head. This guy gets the old fisticuffs. Okay, maybe not. That's doing like nothing. All right, that's repair kit number one. Oh, I got some Todd points for that. Even better. Re-equip this and continue. And we even got some more Todd points for. Leveling up. That's 10 more thousand XP that I've gotten. There we go. Takes it a bit to get going, but once she does, she's a uh, whirly blades of death. Only problem is I can't run through this place fast enough. I might actually consider using dodgy for that reason though, because you can't sprint. If if you're using this thing, you've got a giant, you know, you got a giant brake pad holding like brake pads on your leg or something can't fucking move. It's really annoying actually, so, you know, you'll be sprinting a lot less if you're in combat, so you could consider... Fuck's sake, come on. This weapon is very frustrating to use. Bad, bad Bethesda. Does take a bit to get going. Does feel a good payoff, but oh, the... I don't like not being able to sprint, because I'm sitting here plodding along like a like a Kia Carnival. It's not fun. I want to, you know, hit the gas, hit the acceleratrix and go, but I can't. I'm stuck at this stupid pace. This weapon is giving me a migraine. I hate it. Everyone was telling me how good it was. Is it, though? You know what would be better right now? Becca with a power fist. Uh, maybe. At least we can open doors at the same time whilst using it. And there it goes again. Repair kit number two. And make sure we equip it again. Couple of uh, reflections there to give me slightly healing whilst I'm, you know, being healed in the downtime. Luckily for me, there wasn't a lot of dogs around to, you know, keep biting me, and there was only dudes with automatic rifles. They got a one in six chance of uh, shooting you and healing the healing you. Well, it's a pretty good idea to do that. See, they can shoot me as much as they want, but I won't die. I might down out because I got stuck on a fucking ramp. That's just how it goes, though. Alright, what's next? This dog. Now you won't kill me. So, it, it makes short work of things, but the problem is that it makes short work of itself in the meantime. So, if Bethesda could, like, remove weapon degradation and any degradation, that'd be really good. Because it does nothing to the game, but adds useless grind. See, Fallout 4 had a good good idea. It's like, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna take that out. And... People are like, oh no, bro, where is it? It was such an integral part of Fallout 3. Yes, repairing your weapons. Great gameplay. No, it's not. I was being sarcastic. Alright, time for a good old-fashioned ghoul bash session. This thing ain't gonna last very long, but you know what? I'm gonna make sure I get the most mileage out of what uh, repair kit I could possibly get. Let's, let's conserve every single one we can. So we can only repair this when... You know, it dies. And also, I haven't been utilizing, um... The, the, well, I can't utilize the... 
the pain train perk because it won't allow me to sprint. So that's a bad synchronization. I'm spreading misinformation again. Should put me in a cross. Like the, all of the degenerates living in uh, Nipton? Right, so we can just kind of stand here and then they'll walk into me. Oh, you can explode things. Well, that's nice. Good crowd control. It's like a Wendigo here. He's not having too much fun. He gets a good hit in, but I guess he's got slightly longer arms than the, the barrel on this. Also, I'm noticing there's a bit of uh, Reba on the arm that's wiggling. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it go. Well, I can't unsee that now. All of the ghouls don't want any part of this. They definitely want out. Dinner time, boys. Ring in the dinner bell. Oh, look, it's a three, so I'm going to leave it. Watch me leave it. Call the cops. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you get back here, you bastards. Like, I'm so surrounded in ghoul corpses that... That, um, well... <laughs> The, the, it's, I think it's messing up the path thing. I think we're done though. Oh, actually, there's some ghouls still mad at us. Probably cowering like a corner somewhere. Or it's these guys who didn't bother showing up. Well, they must have heard the commotion upstairs. I wouldn't call that a stealthy approach to gameplay here. But yes, yeah, so I'm actually quite mad about not being able to sprint whilst the barrel's spinning because that means I can't use pain train. So why would I put that perk on? I want my perk coins back, Bethesda. Actually, I already had it. Never mind. Ooh, it's a pleasant claim ticket. Now that I will take, yes. Okay, so no deaths so far, unless you count the minigun breaking as deaths. So I, I guess I do. So many deaths so far. I don't think we'll have too much trouble with these guys. I think I killed them with damage over time. Hit them twice and then whatever damage I got from the uh, Strangleheart armor got right over the line. Hey! You can't do that. That's oh, never mind. That's not a helmet. That's not a free state helmet. That's fine. Right. I'm actually a little bit worried about the laser gun guy, so he needs to go down. Luckily, he was patient enough to let the barrel spin up before he started shooting me. They're they're playing nice today, the crackheads. They must have gotten their fix this morning and have uh, you know, mellowed out a bit after the hit. Flying Dogo tries to attach itself to my head. Didn't really work. And now we've got basically a full condition bar to take Swan, so I'm happy to see what kind of damage we can do to Swan here. Now, if we happen to get a stagger here, things will go well, but if I can't get a stagger, maybe uh, that might cause a problem with uh, barrel spin up. But if it works like uh, any other rotary barrel weapon, you can, in first person, you can kind of just use it while spinning anyway. I like to hit him in the face. Oh, he's dead already. Well, that worked, didn't it? But I think the real test is now the Myler Kings and the Queens. They're, they're going to be a real pain, I reckon. Uh-oh, that's a Piper Perry meme. I just witnessed, like, five Mylurks gang up on one feral ghoul. Oh, apparently that was enough to put you in a caution if I'm close enough to you. Well, at least I've got some feeling about them that they kind of notice when they're, you know, being dissolved by acid. But you'd think these guys would be half immune to it, otherwise the queen would huck a loogie and then there'd be a, you know, a pile of goo on the ground. Ooh, a nice stagger. Worst time to explode ever. I'm going to have to go up here now because if it gets me, it's all over. So let me just, uh, what's that repair kit number four now? It's a very expensive video to make. Oh god, nope, nope, nope. No, we, we have to charge this up over here and then make sure we're actually going. There we go. Come at me, bro! Yes! We, we took the damage over time. Just gotta hit him enough. Oh, you tough bastard. Success! Okay, things are working right now and there's the pain train animation. We're gonna keep sprinting, I guess. Probably a good idea to chuck on Dodgy right now. Or maybe Funky Duds, because that totally works with Power Armor, because it's all one type, right? But I am doing that. My perk coins are needed for specking uh, incompetently, I might add. Right, my other queen's out. No time to mess around. Go for the legs. Only chance of stopping her. Just like the Adats. Well, that's not useful. Let's try this again in first person. Okay, my minigun might break one more time before this thing's through, and... Okay, maybe that was number four. I've lost count, I haven't been paying attention. Ah! 
I've crippled both of the legs. Well, I guess that 10% chance to cripple came in handy here, didn't it? Hey? Ah, what do you think of that? How much did that just take? Well, she's sending her babies at me, which is not very ethical, so they'll have to go into the blender as well. I'll find them. Oh, never mind. The strangler heart armor took care of it. Well, that's convenient. I did not get 270 XP for killing those things, did I? That seems like a bit much. Okay, Enforcer, your time to shine. So get this bat on the ground and hopefully he doesn't get distracted by a you know, Flatwoods monster and a Milo Quinn. Because honestly, the minigun doesn't have another one of those to deal with. Doesn't have the strength to deal with that. That that one's taken off. That's helpful because he's a, he's a punching enemy and they do a lot of damage. Alright. We'll spin it up. Okay, you totally get cucked out of your barrel spin up when you're doing that. But luckily for me... Oh, there's a death claw. Well, you need to go away. Goodbye, Mr. Lizard. And I think this thing's about rooted. Yep, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, find some Scorched Punk to shoot with. And then the thing will hopefully break. Well, not to shoot with, but look, you get the idea. Alright, maybe this plant over here will give me uh, some insight on how to break this thing. The, the plant wisdom of sticky glue. Got him. Didn't do much. Thought it was an NPC would... Wait, is it an... No, it's an activate. It's not an NPC. That's dumb. Alright, there she blows. That's repair kit number five. We get punched by Mr. Scorched, but that's okay. We've got defensive protocols, or emergency protocols even. And we've also got Blocker, so he didn't do a lot of damage. What I am a little bit worried about is... Well, that was pointless, wasn't it? Meridian power arm, that's gonna do nothing. Uh, maybe this radiation damage might be a little bit of a pain. Like 10% health. But I think the bigger problem here is... Being swarmed. Stop that! There you go. Come here. Alright, bat's fallen. We've got a legendary, so he's going to be extra tanky. We'll see how we go. Remember to don't jump. 73 damage. Just keep tracking on the head. Well, there she goes again. Repair kit number 6 has been used. Might consider doing a right away. Ah, she'll be right. There you go. And let's go ahead and uh, try to cripple his wings again. Get some bats gameplay in here. Someone's got to use it. Fuck. I tried. You, you, even when you get your hits to very high percentages on shotguns with bats, you're not going to hit. Alright. All of this standing near a giant hole in the ground has got me very irradiated, so... Oi, where do you think you're going? I've never seen a Scorch Beast flee in terror like that. Oh wait, sorry, hang on, I've got to do this. Fuck's sake. No punching. Block. Press the block button, aim down sights. Oh, he gave us a bloodied 50 cal machine gun. Give me that. And fall back into your pit. I'm gonna take your liver out as well to add insult to injury. Alright, so there you go. Vampire's Bash Damage Minigun. What'd you all think of that? I think it was pretty irrelevant because you can get better damage out of things that are proper melee weapons that you don't have to, you know, pull your cash out of your pocket from the atom sort of keep feeding this thing during gameplay. I kind of don't see the point in this for a non specialized melee character. If you are. I mean, because I can just grab, like, I don't know, gas shotgun if I want to use shotguns. If I'm frisky, I'm using a, a, a 50 cal machine gun, maybe a light machine gun, something like that. It's going to be better because it doesn't break as quick and I've got range with it. Sure, this thing's got impressive power, but it just breaks too fast to make it even remotely useful.
which is a shame because there's certainly a different way to use miniguns and an interesting way to use miniguns, but apparently Bethesda says, nah, bro, you can't do that. Have, like, 200% increased damage to the thing whilst you bash it. Basically, this condition bar, this mechanic is the worst thing ever, and I really wish it wasn't ever in Fallout 76. If I get mod support, that's going. I'm getting rid of this shit. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Also, if you want this, pay me 20,000 caps. Starting price.